Dear applicants, welcome to webinar about Pathfinder Challenge. Nature inspired alternatives for food packaging and films for agriculture. Uh, let me give you the background why we have this challenge. We all know that food supply system is heavily reliant on plastics derived from fossil fuels. And it goes from the early stages of production, like polytunnel foils, mulch foils, mineral fertilizer coating, and continues later on in food packaging and logistics. It is true that plastics low cost durability is really great for packaging our food. Uh, but when it comes to environmental impact, it's not so great, especially when we plug in the quantities applied. And then not only plastics, but the thing that is of our special concern, additives added to achieve functional properties. Uh, and those chemicals are usually not part of the polymer matrix and they could leach out. And then that might pollute our environment considerably. It ends up in our bodies, in our food sources. And then that's the moment when it gets tricky. It is also about magnitude we use plastics. Uh, Man-made materials exceed, exceeded already in quantity biomaterials. Uh, plastic, twice as much as animal kingdom. Uh, we may not be proud on recycling percentages. Uh, a lot of plastics end up in landfills, incinerated for energy, and very few is turned back into useful products. And that, let's talk about chemicals. Uh, and why this challenge? Exactly of this. Because if we pay attention really to circularity of fossil fuel derived plastics, that's nice. But those chemicals are already escaped. And there are some really dangerous chemicals there. Uh, many of them forever chemicals. Uh, they have uh, impact on our body, especially if they are endocrine uh, disruptive comp compounds. Uh, and let's talk about those additives. At the moment, this is fresh report, we have uh, more than 16,000 chemicals added to plastics. And 25% of them are actually uh, hazardous. The number of those additives is growing rapidly. A couple hundred or a couple thousand added every year. And it is maybe easier to watch just every single compound, but when you check their interaction, uh, it is almost impossible to track possible effects on human health and well being. And it is true. We might be curious as scientists and say, wow, that's a lot, that's difficult, but we really understand that particular aspect only when it gets personal but someone close to us get affected. That is the reason for the challenge. Let's make an intervention at the appropriate point. Let's replace those chemicals with better ones. And yes, we have to be aware. Uh, it is also about availability of those resources. It is about energy efficiency. Uh, so, here is the graph with relevant biomass sources and with total production of plastic of eight gigaton carbon. We see that fungal, bacterial, and plant mass is really reliable source, viable source for alternative packaging materials and materials for food and agriculture. And we have to be honest, those amounts could be significantly increased. So we have appropriate pathway to achieve that. Nature inspired materials to replace fossil fuel derived plastics. 
let's talk about research activities. We listed more than 16,000 chemicals as additives in plastic materials. Look at this. It is very vibrant research area. 859,000 plus patent application. It's immense. When you type bio-based, we go one magnitude less. It's only 85,000 plus. Surprisingly, when you go to Nature Inspired, Again, one magnitude less. But if you see the trend, it's booming. It is promising and could be possible solution to our problem in food packaging. Let's talk about scope. In the end, we would like to see development or production and sustainable nature-inspired materials capable of replacing plastic materials in large array of applications. So this is our goal. But those materials have to reduce environmental impact that could be through design and production and still have to deliver functional properties of plastic. Don't take me wrong. Plastic is sanitary. It's simple to use. It's very effective in its basic function. We would not like to replace those with inferior materials. You still have to be up to the task. And then uh, it is about development of novel and sustainable production through the end of the life. And from abundant naturally occurring materials, of different sources. Uh, we also have to be aware that Europe has very different environments from hot and dry to pretty cold one. So it should be uh, possible to do that even in different environments, possibly extreme environments. Uh, as all pathfinders, we are seeking for a groundbreaking proposal, high risk, high return, out of box thinking, but still circular, safe, and sustainable. But that's not all. It's also reusable, recyclable, and biodegradable. And then what we would like to see food packaging material and films for agriculture by using different sources of raw material. Those could be extracted from nature, could be natural polymers, and could be synthetic polymers from bio-based materials. Uh, we would also like not to use high quality agricultural product to produce that. We would like to see side streams, waste, possibly industrial waste, if possible. It is about new material for well-known purpose. We would like you to pay attention to regulatory aspect. We would also like not to spoil amazing material with surface coating and additives that could actually diminish the possible environmental impact. And then those additives have to be in line with current preferably even the announcement of future regulation. If you have some preliminary results, show us life cycle analysis. If you don't, tell us what you plan to do and be very specific. Let us know where this goes. While performing or planning this life cycle assessment, yeah, Take into account environmental, social, and economic consideration. Paying attention especially to those reducing energy and water consumption and end-of-life uh, moment, biodegradability, compostability, or reusability. 
you can also propose materials with enhanced functional characteristics. It would be useful to have something which could help and increase shelf life, returning nutritional properties of packaged food, or enhancing productivity and functionality of agricultural films. It could be also degradable electronic features. Be aware, we would like you to end up reaching technology readiness level four or above. And we would really like to see this fast track to accelerator. Expected outcome, hopefully we would achieve our goal. Portfolio of environmentally friendly materials that could fulfill different functions. Hopefully leading to paradigm change. I hope that would be accompanied by changes in our consumption habits, reducing packaging material use after all. And then slowly but effectively replacing man-made materials with nature-inspired materials. Uh, let's be aware, uh, planet boundaries when defined, yeah, we were exceeding only three. Uh, this is our hard work. We exceeding now much more planet boundaries. Let's be aware of the global impact of excessive use of plastics. You were briefed about step one procedure, excellence, implementation, and impact. Let's talk about second phase. Let's talk about portfolio considerations. Don't get confused with many things we are requesting from your projects. They are just in several layers. So the first one is bio-based sources of raw materials. It is extracted from nature or nature inspired or synthetic polymers from bio-based monomers and raw materials. Fulfilling different function in food packaging area. We know there are different type of plastics. We would need adequate substitutes as well. Regarding mechanical, thermal properties, wetting properties, barrier toward different gases, regarding visible light or different structural function. Second category, films for agriculture, specifically films for polytunnel or mulch, but this is non-exhaustive list. First principle, portfolio aims to cover wide range of possible uses. And then, while doing that, we would slightly prefer food packaging over films for agriculture. If your project or product has generic capacity to be used in other sectors, like pharmaceuticals, we would also encourage that. But be aware, you may not trade this for lesser function in our primary goal, which is food packaging, should be still superb in that domain. Okay. Uh, and then the real magic happens. From project submitted, we would seek for a possible shared component, which could enhance portfolio work. Those shared components are actually pieces of know-how with generic capacity and excellence, which could be utilized in other projects. You might have amazing base material, but then other project has surface treatment. You have technology process, monitoring process, and we cannot tell what that would be before we receive your applications. Only then we could do meaningful analysis of possible shared components. 
We cannot count with something we did not receive. It should be in the applications. And then, uh, strong case, you can work together on developing robust approach to measure life cycle impact. It is a lot of slides. So I took liberty to summarize all of them into one in a graphical way. So what we are seeking for is portfolio of environmentally friendly materials. How? To cover a wide range of possible uses in agri-food system. Using different sources and raw materials. You might work on enhanced functional characteristics and have different strategy to reduce environmental impact. By achieving all of those, we would get what we want. Pathfinder portfolio with nature-inspired alternatives for food packaging, films, and agriculture. Budget and application line. You already learned about that. Indicative budget is 24 million euros. Uh, grant size up to four. In certain cases, even more. Funding rate, 100% of eligible costs. Please do not forget to include portfolio activities work package with 10 person months. If you apply to challenge call and you did not plan for this work package, we have to find sources elsewhere. So some other activities will be reduced. And then application deadline, October 16, 1700 hours, Central European time. Okay, I have 4 million euro question to each of possible applicants. Challenge is on. Do you accept it? If you accept it, you will put your project here. And I wish you all the best. Ask question if needed, and your NCP is the right place to go. Thank you for your attention.